The more HP that you have going into heal off, the higher chance you have of winning the game. If you're full HP, you're going to win heal off every time. You have to start getting your medkits off way earlier. You have to, because this is gonna this is gonna cost you if this guy has more heal off below you. All right, yo, what's good guys? We are back. We're doing another solo game. We're gonna watch it. We've got uh, my boy Deluxe in the Cesar Thesis Discord. We're gonna watch this video and then we're gonna learn a lot together. So I don't wanna waste any time here. Let's watch my boy Deluxe get some earnings this season and see what we can learn from it. I'm sure there's a lot. Um, it's a quick recording here. It's gonna be mostly end game. So this is gonna be great for those that just wanna see end game. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. All right, if y'all wanna say what's good real quick. Yeah, say what's good, say what's good. Yeah, Proverbs, the goat. All right, W promo, now for real. Discord.gg slash thesis, W promo, let's go. 33 players alive, solo game, pretty stacked. His mats are pretty mid, but like, hey, he's got it right now. He's in first moving. He's got he's got forecast, which is huge. And he's marking the sides of the zone. I don't know if you guys can see that with YouTube, but he's marking, oh, I'll go back. Hey, he's marking the side of the zone where he wants to end up at, which is huge. Maybe choice. Um, got a good, good surge here. Let me lower the volume. <clears throat> Yep, grapple's elevated, box is up. Probably could use wood here, right? Also, Deluxe, are you in the Discord? I'd love to bring Deluxe up and ask him some questions after this. This is a quick recording. Let's let's see though. Yeah, so probably could have used wood there, right? Because he's elevated, no one's pressuring him. He's not, he's got a long way to go in this rotate. Definitely should use wood there. But getting elevated is huge, right? So he gets elevated, now he's picking a side of his own. It's good to see. And he's he's staying elevated. I like this. Trip away your cone, right? Hold your builds out, hold your builds out. Yeah. Hold, hold your builds out, same thing, right? He's just wanting, his teammates wanting him to be protected. And here you just, yeah, I was about to say, I, was, I think tarping is fine. I think you could just, you could wait and grapple on someone's head. I think, I think this is, either option is no big deal. zone goes north you already know i like that i, I don't know there, i mean there's multiple reasons you could have done what you did to look for something to grapple to to scout height you saw that the guys not really there's not really a big major height yeah, above you yeah look you see, can you chop it right that's that's your next thought can, how, where do i chop it in storm okay, yeah, you still need to that guy pulled you down. Switch to wood here, right? You know you have to rotate, so get back to wood. Nice, you do. Nice. You, you, you elevate, you take it slow, you don't rush anything, you know there's a lot of guys going around you, there, there's a lot going on. Unfortunately, you get pulled down there. You're making the best out of this, for sure. That was a cool. And grappling from height, or at least scouting height, is, is huge. Yep, you see it's getting fought. Okay, sending height is kind of crazy, just yep. blindly sending it, but hey, it works. Oh. Alright, oh, it works. Okay, well. Probably a better way to take it more consistently. I would say you could probably just grapple to front and chop him out. Like, you see this guy's... It's like right above you, there's nothing, right? It's just, there's nothing connecting him. All you do is just get ahead here. And spray it out. And then you spray his connection point right here because he's about to connect. And that's it. Yep. Catch him off, catch him off. Because this guy, this guy could definitely just, he could kill you right now. He could have way more mats than you. He could have a like fizz to just jump up. Like this guy could sui fight you. So you don't, you never want to just send on height. Um, But also at the same time, I'll be straight honest with you guys. It is solos and this isn't an all pro lobby. So you really can do this. It's not like the worst thing, but I will tell you like in, in stack, stack, stack lobbies, this will get you. If it's a, if it's a pro on height, if he knows what he's doing, he, he, will, he will make you pay just by sending it. He'll grief your game and you'll both die or he'll kill you. All right. Instantly gets up, instantly starts spraying. Huge. Yep. Care 
careful you're shooting your ramp there, letting you know it's weak. Oh, no. Nice. Oh, didn't kill that guy. Okay, no more no more going up. You're good. Probably could even go down here. You're gonna need a refresh here. Just keep just keep on spraying though, right? Keep on keep on putting pressure. And builds. And builds. Yeah, see my view on going this high is like nobody if you're if you're like pretty established, which it seems like you are putting down pressure, you're I mean your hat you have metal. Like you're gonna be pretty established if you just don't go this high is like you just lose your chance to get this refresh right here like or you just lose your chance to just jump on somebody's wall or use like your your builds like you're just you know what i'm saying like you give 100 builds right now let's say you're just right below you like you're just right up you're two two layers above these guys that you're looking down on okay you're not four or five layers then you could use the 100 mats that you get to jump in on a kid and kill him but now that you're just playing the ch you're just playing like if you had more mats if you had more mats dude honestly you could set this high up i wouldn't even be worried about it if you had 200 300 more builds no big deal but you know you need a refresh here. And builds. And builds. Like also, this guy wouldn't grapple th like this high. Like he, this wouldn't. That guy shouldn't. That, that that wouldn't happen. He wouldn't even. He either wouldn't grapple up at all, or he would just grapple and you'd do the same thing you just did. You just build him off or pump him, or you'd go up two layers. Like or he would fight you and you chop him out, and then you like. There's a lot of options you could have done here. You know. Um. Also, I think we all know this, but solos isn't a height wins all 100 percent of the time. Win win win. If you get on height, you win. So let's just say you were two layers above the second height team and that guy does grapple up and he does fight you. That's just solos. Like that guy could literally have so many more mats than you that it doesn't matter what you do. He could have five times the amount of mats you have and it, it, you cannot win that. It's impossible. And that is solos. So it doesn't mean you, you don't need to send height and invest everything into height because that guy could come up with a lot more mats and, and take it from you. So just know you need to refresh and uh, don't go this high up. So you can take advantage of getting an easier refresh. Right? Like, that guy, this is the guy that went up on you. That guy had 400 mats. He had 500 builds and he went up on you, right? Like, you weren't going to win that if that guy went up on you defaultly. The only reason why you won that is because that guy is pretty bad. Like, for for that to happen, that guy is pretty bad for that. But that is solos. Again, that is victory cat. Like, that is what you're playing. So these guys aren't great. So, I don't I don't think that's a horrible play. But the, pro the problem is, what I'm seeing you guys do, is it's not consistent enough to do this every week, every cash up week in, week out, and you're making money every time. I really doubt that you are making money every time. Who knows? I'm not going to put it past you and say it's impossible, but these are just inconsistent ways to get refreshes. Market. You have more markets and flops. Good comms. Yeah. Market. You're going to go back for it. Pressure though. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Oh, you dropped your SMG. Okay, that's fine. I personally would have dropped my, I would have dropped my, uh, shotgun i did that if you watched uh if you watched my other video it was on uh it's on my cease extra channel actually we'll do a quick quick cease extra promo where's it at here it is 8k views three weeks ago go watch this video if you haven't watched this video and you want to learn about how to play better solos play consistently everything i'm teaching you to do i wish you watched this video because or i hope you watch this video let's go this is literally very me simple. fortnite is very very simple explaining everything i'm doing in the end game and why i'm doing it everything with box could definitely aggro this Right, the entire time could aggro this. I'm going up, gonna go down. I'm gonna spray height because height has nothing. I'm gonna look down. Like I dropped my SMG. They're floppers just like we did the last game. Okay, now we have to spray. Right, the entire time I'm telling you what exactly I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And I and I, I think I got stuck in this game, but I should have won. Um, just storm surge or yeah, storm sickness. But yeah, SMG here or an AR because you know you have to put pressure down. You have more medkits and flops. What are you gonna do with the shotgun? There's no way you put pressure with a shoddy. Go. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Don't be aggressive. Alright, you know you have to put pressure, but you can't with a shotgun. And you don't need the shot. I bet you won't get a shotgun kill for the rest of the game. Yeah, they're gonna try to aggro you. They don't have any guns to pressure with. Yep. Yeah. When you're ready, jizz and grapple back. Also, 
So n having no pressure gun just makes the game even more RNG. Because imagine you were spraying this guy this entire time. He runs out of mats. Like this guy might have three builds below you and no heals. He runs out of mats, has to fight that guy in low ground, then becomes a 1v1. Right. And then you guarantee win before heal ops even starts because the guy below low ground gets no siphon. He gets hit for 60. They trade damage or and then the guy's 30 white HP and he dies the storm. Or just right. Something on it. it can be that can it. that less RNG. Make it. Also, I don't know. Um, I don't know about this. This makes no sense. I know you said you almost sold, but someone's got to be telling you this. If they're watching you play, take, so textbook, textbook is this, textbook is this. Take heal off all the way to the final second. So you have four builds here. So place these four builds, or at least two of the four, one of the, one of the four. Place this, you can not do what you're doing, right? You have the builds and somebody in the call has to tell you this, or you need to remember this for the next time. If you're full HP, you're going to win heal off every time. So you almost did this perfectly. What, what I would what I would have done here, 100%, pop my pop the fizz so you can jump back and don't tank storm before the zone fully closes to give yourself the most advantage. Right now you have the most advantage, okay? And let's say like you accidentally fall off, okay? Like that happens. That could have that could have happened here. As soon as you realize that, you you get back down as fast as possible. Like right now you grapple straight down, like straight as close as you can to connect or you just build, you land and build. You have to start getting your mechanics off way earlier. You have to because this is going to this is going to cost you if this guy has more heal off below you. If you're full white HP, you win, you will win the game 100% of the time. Um yeah, the more HP that you have going into heal off, the higher chance you have of winning the game. Um so you don't do that and you kind of just you Kind of lose the fact that you have six med kits. It's useless now. You need you like need those floppers to get okay. you back to high HP. And you didn't mark them, so you don't even know where they are. All right, so now okay. you're low. Helping my kit. Move, move. So look how okay. So like actually, I think you end up doing getting all the med kits off. Just give me my money. Look how low you're getting with your med kits. I know. So you actually you do end up getting all the med kits off, but I mean you're one tick away from doing that. You're like it's like no risk, right? You don't have to risk. You don't have to risk that. If you're full HP, get all your six med kits off, no issue. And you have health to spare. One more. One more. It was like oh. you're barely ticking. Sickness. No. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, you're so good. Yeah. So uh, I think the notes from that game would be pretty simple. Uh, I want. I'm curious what you guys had to say, but I think that um, the positives would be. He rotated like rotated under height a lot. I'm just gonna write posit. Uh, let's do. Uh, probably should format that better, but it's fine. That's a positive. Um, he um, like you're you're pretty snappy, snappy uh, and quick on rotates slash building, right? Like you're very quick at building a box, which is huge. Um, I think compared to Mr. Turtle, like when you build your box, it's like you're in and you're boom like this. Like that's very snappy builds. You kind of rotate it up and you went and you bought and you built and you're protected, right? Like you're not going in and going and stopping and building a box, coming in, sitting here and then you know, there's a difference and you're pretty quick and snappy and that's good. So I'd say that's a positive. Um, I'd say, um, in general, your mechanics and aim to get, to get like, uh, that kill on height was, was pretty, I mean, that's a crucial kill, right? But not to say it's the most difficult, but under understanding what to do, like to chop out to then to look up like basic Fortnite stuff. But I would say the negative would be, uh, not, uh, was it dropping SMG instead of shotgun, right? That's a, that was a big negative. Um, like that definitely could have costed you and it made your game a lot harder, a lot more random. Um, and then, yeah, like not not staying full uh, 100 white HP before heal off begins, right? Like the little mess up that you had at the end could have costed you or it just it just makes your chances a little less. And that's not what you want. Right. So. All right. Well, that is uh, those are the those are the quick small notes. I know this is a quick VOD, so um, that's no big deal. But um, yeah, Deluxe, if you're here, I'd love to bring you up and chat with you if you have any if you have any questions personally. Um, rotated well. He was good at knowing when to change materials. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a good one. He was very good at rotating and uh, changing materials efficiently. He boxed up quickly. He was good at scouting height. Yep, it's very important when you grappler, which he did a lot to scout height. Uh, know when you can use wood instead of hard mats saying, uh, yeah, when you're elevated. Exactly, exactly, exactly. That's a great note right there, Rain. Like understanding when to switch to hard mats is huge. Um, uh, Mark the part of zone to be up at the end. Yeah, Mark, exactly. Yeah, he saw forecast, so he, he knew where he wanted to go, but always mark like mark somewhere where you pref would prefer to be like the last the last game. Like if we go to like Loot Lake here, right? Imagine the zones, let's just draw all this. Like the moving zone is here, okay? Would you rather, would you just want to randomly mark here or would you want to mark 
here, right on the road? You know, why would you mark down in the water when you can mark the road? Or let's say it's another scenario, like it's here, right? Like, would you rather be on the hill or be down on the road? Or this scenario where it was like here, would you rather be on the hill or in the water? It's like, obviously, so you want to mark, like, I know you had forecast there, so that's clear, but yeah, definitely mark where you want to be, where the best spot is. Uh, triple way cone when you box up. Yeah, don't risk, yeah, you don't have to risk too hard. You can play, it's what I call it is the height option. I'd love, I would love to watch your guys' VODs and like, a month or two and here i've already heard you guys say the triangle of death and turtle and snail and just the terms i've tossed around in this discord has been awesome to hear you guys use but i'd love to hear you guys say things like the height option like let's play height option that's how we're gonna play this game and you just check height spray them out see what they do if they fall and they don't build back up you have height if they do they you chop them out again and you just keep chopping them out height option is a great way to consistently win games yeah you guys have any any final questions i'd love to i'd love to answer them Anything about anything about solos. It doesn't have to be about Deluxe's games. It could be whatever. Check DMs. Uh, I'll check in a bit. How do you become more confident when fighting people in solo cash? So confidence in in fighting in the cash cups is super simple. It's it's. I mean, one, how confident are you in yourself to just one v one anybody? If you are very confident, if you know you have better mechanics than than a lot of the players, then there's your confidence in in in, uh, in some way part of it. Um, if you um, what's it called, and also just knowing the lobby, like seeing how people react, like. Would you be would you would you be confident if you saw somebody box up like this this slow and sat like this and started healing? Would you be confident about fighting this player? Probably, a hundred percent, I would. Or would you be confident about fighting this player who boxes up like this, edits edits his cone? You know, maybe it's spraying, editing. Like you're you know you're you're analyzing how good the player is. Like you're not gonna want to fight this guy if you can fight this guy instead. Like you're you're definitely gonna just you know phase in and kill the guy that doesn't know how to build a box fast enough for how to protect himself yeah and it will be on youtube this this um this will be on uh cease extra all this stuff will be on cease extra if you guys aren't already subscribed to both channels i would definitely i would definitely go subscribe just at cease and then at cease extra extra we're about to hit seven thousand seven thousand subs on cease extra which is insane nuts um okay I am, yeah, yeah, I am gonna make a video on routines. So that's it for this video. I know it was quick and short, simple, um, but thanks again, Deluxe, for sending in your gameplay. Again, in the Season Thieves Discord, we're doing this all the time. So get your gameplay sent in, we'll watch it, we'll, we'll learn a bunch together. Um, and uh, yeah, hey, he's gonna get some more earnings in the near future, I'm sure. So, all right, later.